it's been three months three months you guys since i quit my job in california to start adventuring full time it honestly feels like yesterday i feel like when you're traveling time flies by really fast since then i've traveled in morocco portugal spain england france right now and very soon Italy. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been traveling and living off of my 40 liters backpack and so far it's working well and my hope is that it will continue to work for however long I'm going to be on the road. I want to start first with the packing cubes. I only adopted using packing cubes before this trip and I decided to go with a set from Osprey. So I have this big one usually for my top maybe pants it really depends how much i can fit in here and the second one is where i usually pack underwear tank tops and socks all together so that that pretty much fits everything that i have in terms of socks underwear and tank tops and the small one don't ask me why but i'm using it for some electronics and cables and it's been working really well when i was trying to choose uh, packing cubes on amazon they are a lot of options different prices the set right here from osprey it was a little bit pricier compared to the average price on amazon but it's absolutely worth it because i heard stories where some of these packing cubes can rip because when you are packing you're trying to shove as much as you can inside of them and i decided to go with the brand that i can trust and honestly i haven't been treating them so well but they've been really really strong so i highly recommend this one i will leave links to everything that i'm mentioning here in the first comments as well as in the description so that if you guys choose or decide to buy any of these items you have the link a worldwide adapter this is pretty important you want to make sure that when you arrive to a new country you don't have to worry about whether you have an adapter or not to charge your electronic so this is universal and it has most of the adapters that you will need all around the world I was worried in a little bit because this is a little bit heavy but it's been super helpful so I'm going to link to some of them not exactly this one because I don't think I'm gonna find it on Amazon but I will link to similar ones that I have tried in the past as well so next what do we have we have a towel this is an ultralight towel that I usually pack when I'm backpacking in the wilderness it's from the brand pack towel and I am so happy that I packed it with me because I was actually wondering before I left California whether it's it's worth having a towel with me but now that I'm staying in all type of places like sometimes hotels sometimes hostels uh, Airbnbs usually Airbnbs and hotels you will have a towel but in hostels sometimes you do sometimes you don't sometimes you have even to pay extra for a towel so I've been really happy that I have this one with me and it's super lightweight whether you are going to the beach or just taking a shower it's working really well all right next up yo do you guys know what this is this is a laundry bag the first time i bought this was when i was traveling in tanzania for one month and i knew that in one month i would probably need to use laundry once or twice at the very least but now that i'm traveling full time i do laundry at least once a week sometimes twice actually between once and twice a week and so if you have to move your laundry from one room to the other or if you have to walk to a laundromat because now that I'm staying in hostels and sometimes small apartments not all apartments have a washer and dryer in the unit which I hate and I'm, <laughs> I feel like now I'm appreciating what it means to have a washer and dryer in units it's just so convenient but when I don't I just shove everything in here pack it throw it on my bag and make my way to the laundromat and next favorite item and this is actually something new that i acquired mid adventure when i met alex when he flew to lisbon to meet me i asked him to bring this one i ordered it on amazon and what this is is basically a bar soap case so when i started my adventure i was debating whether bar soap or liquid soap and i ended up going with liquid soap at first and i found this soap that's pretty much 18 in one so you can use it to wash your body your hair dishes the floor laundry yeah seriously and i was really happy to have that on me multi-purpose soap type of thing but then it ended up exploding over all of my gear and my backpack and i was not very happy with that i mean it smelled like lavender but still everything was just like blah so yucky so at that point i decided you know what bar soap is gonna be the way to go and that's what i've been using so far but with bar soap you want to make sure you have a little container for your bar soap so i bought this one from matador and it's been working really well especially after you take a shower the soap is still a little bit wet i honestly just throw it in 
close it, secure it, and it's as dry as it should be. All right, what else do we have here? Portable charger. So if you guys have been following me for a while now, I've talked like a million times about this portable charger from Anchor. It's 20,000 milliampers, which is so strong. And it's got two USB slots for you to charge your electronics. Now, when I was about to leave California, Alex kindly gifted me another portable charger. At first I was a little bit worried because this is extra weight that I probably don't need, but I've been so happy that I have the two of them. So this one solves some problems that this one doesn't. The first one is that I can actually charge it. I can charge the portable charger while charging my other electronics, which I'm not sure if it works with this one, honestly, I'm doubtful. But um, it has two USB slots and then a USB-C to charge my computer, which I wasn't able to do with the anchor charge. So I can use this one to charge my computer. Let's say I'm in a long bus ride, eight hours, and one charge is not going to be enough on my computer. I can use this one as a backup. And it also has a wireless surface right here where on top of charging all of my other electronics, like three electronics at a time, I can charge my phone wirelessly, which is amazing. So this is from OmniCharge, this is from Anchor. Both of them are so incredible. The two all together are really making all of my editing and working on the road a lot easier. And two more things, you guys, almost there. I don't even know why I packed this one at first, but I'm really happy that I have it. This is a sack from Sea to Summit, eight liters. I usually take this one with me when we go kayaking or if I want to add a layer of waterproof something to protect my gear, or maybe my snacks sometimes. It's not really waterproof, but it just adds a protective layer. But now that I have it, I've been really using it for so many things. So sometimes if I have dirty laundry in my bag and I don't want it to mix with everything else that's clean, I would separate it in this sack. Or let's say I'm going on a hike and I have a bunch of snacks, I don't want to just throw them in my backpack, I use this sack to for all of my snacks. Uh, what else? Sometimes if I have some batteries or electronics and I'm going on a kayaking trip or something like that and I want to give them that extra layer of protection, I would use this one as well. So really, I mean, it's lightweight. It's, uh, it's neat that I have it. It's always good to have multi-purpose things uh, on you. Yeah, so that's eight liters from Sea to Summit. And another favorite from Sea to Summit, I also talked about this one a million times. This is the Ultra Seal Day Pack 20 liters. Yes, this little monster is an actual day pack. And I am very happy that I have it. So when it unfolds, it is a day pack. I use it almost every day. So with my big backpack, let's say I get to my destination, I wanna go on a short stroll or I wanna go for a hike and I don't wanna carry my heavy backpack, it's better to go for this one, just throw in some water, maybe some snacks or towel, whatever. And sometimes when you are traveling full time, at least that was my case, you do acquire things on the road, things that you need or maybe just things that you want to have as a luxury. And I felt like if I need some extra space, this will be the extra space that I have. A uh, worst scenario that actually happened to me is that um, I was told or I was asked to check my heavy backpack in because there was no space in the aircraft and I hated, I hated that. So I had to check that bag and because I have some valuables that I just don't want to leave in a checked backpack like my computer, like my camera, my other camera. So I used this one really just for my laptop, for my cameras, for my electronics, valuables to have them on me while flying and that was the one moment where i was super super thankful that i have this one i have a full review about it i will leave the link up here if you guys want to go and check it out but yeah these are my favorites I'm going to leave the links in the first comments and i will see you guys tomorrow on the next vlog bye